hello everyone in this video we are going to analyze the continuous beam using moment distribution method so the questions and solution are as follow uh, step number one is to find or determine the fixed end moment <clears throat> uh, firstly uh, we have to see see the join join and members uh, in this uh, in this case there are there are one join and two members member a and member b and other one is member b and member c uh, and <clears throat> consider every join or support as fix Uh, so we have to take the loading as per the questions so over here loading given is point lot 100 kN and over here is UDL 50 kN per meter and then uh, respectively write the length of every member and <clears throat> always take movement left hand side as a anti-clockwise or negative and right hand side as positive or clockwise Uh, to find the fixed end moment, uh, we, have, we have to know the certain formula based on the loading conditions. Here it is a point lot and it is, and it is, uh, right, it is written as WL by 8. Over here it is a UDL WL square by 2L. Uh, this is how we have to write uh, for member a b on left side fixed end moment fixed end moment is negative w l by 8 and for on right side uh, fixed fixed end moment is w l by 8 uh, for member b c the fixed end moment uh, for the udl will be uh, WL is square by 12 for left side it will be negative and for right side it will be positive after finding the fixed end moment we need to move to next step the next step is to find the stiffness and distribution factor of each member to find the stiffness of each member we need to consider the far end support and near end support so for this problem there are different far end support so here is the fixed support and here is roller these two are far end and it consists of one joint it marks as a b c so it consists of one joint and that is joint b and joint b and it has two member that is member BA and member BC to find the stiffness we need to divide the uh, flexural rigidity by the respective length so it has uh, flexural rigidity of 2 I and it has member BC has a flexor rigidity of 3 I so stiffness is represented by K so stiffness for a member BA is equal to 
so <coughs> this this is of uh, fixed support so we need to just divide uh, flexural rigidity that is 2i by uh, length that is 5 meter and for member BC the rigidity if stiffness is equal to so here the you need to consider the far end support so here the far end support is roller we need to multiply the stiffness with the factor of factor 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 should be multiplied with the stiffness that is 3i divided by length length is 6 which is equal to 3i divided by 8 after finding the individual stiffness we need to sum of these two stiffness is equal to 31 i divided by 40 so after that we need to find the distribution factor for each member so how to find the distribution factor distribution factor is equal to individual sti stiffness divided by total stiffness so distribution factor for member uh, ba is equal to 2i divided by 5 whole divided by 31i 31i divided by 40 which is equal to uh, 0.52 then distribution factor for member BC is equal to 3i divided by 8 whole divided by 31i divided by 40 which is equal to 0.48 so to check whether it is correct or wrong we need to just um, add this two distribution factor so if you get one then it is right so 0 0.58 plus 0 0.48 is equal to one so it is correct after finding all the parameters we need to tabulate in this kind of table the third step is moment distribution method and this is the format of moment distribution method and First, we have joints, members, distribution factors, uh, fixed end, moment, balance, and carryover, and the joints. For now, we have three joints, namely A, B, and A, B, and C. A, B, and C, and each member. Um, Join join E have one member only that is A B A B and join B have uh, two members that is B A and B C B A and B C and join C have only one member that is C B. So the distribution factor is as follows: zero, one zero, zero point five two, zero point four eight, and one zero. And the force and fixed end moment is uh, for member AP is negative sixty two point five. And positive sixty two point five for B A and or negative one fifty one fifty for C B. So after uh, fix and moment uh, step we have balance step and in this balance step it is uh, it usually um, 
balance the joints and in case of um, joint B we have a net moment of 62.5 plus 2.5 plus 150 that gives us 87.5 the net moment is 87 negative 87.5 and we have to in order to balance it we have to add positive 87.5 to it so that it gets balanced and this positive 87.5 is shared with the member of member BA and BC of joint B by a distribution factor so it is 7 point Five times zero point five two is equal to forty five point five and eighty seven eighty seven point five times zero point four eight is forty two. So so the joint B is balanced and for joint for member C P is one negative 150 and for EB positive 62.5 so hence the all the joints are balanced and now carry over the next step is carry over so carry over means uh, when you apply a moment if the fix if the bar end is fixed half of the moment moment is Develop so so this 45.5 is applied to a member PA and the far end is A so far end is fixed point so that so we know the concept of carryover that if the far end is um, fixed the half of the moment is transferred so 45.5 divided by 2 is 22.75 and in case of bc the far end is c in case of bc the far end is c and this support is uh, intermediate support and which can be treated as uh, fixed support so therefore 42 divided by 2 is 21 positive 21 so again balancing again we have to balance the joints so from here um, all the, the procedure will be same till the last value of uh, till the last value of the balance is somewhat uh, near to zero or somewhat 0 0.001 or something so as said we have to repeat the procedure until the last balance value is somewhat 0 0.01 so this is the last value value so so moving on to the last step or the part to calculate the final moment distribution so in order to calculate the final moment moment distribution we have to add add the all the values starting from um fixed end moment till the last last value of balance so adding upon adding we get we get 14.449 and here negative 14.49 and 
this is the final final steps of moving distribution tub after finding the moment we are going to find the reactions reaction a and b at the section a and b we have already found the moment at right hand side and left hand side and we have a span of 5 meter at a and b reaction a and b x upward so to find the reaction a and b we have to use three equilibrium equation <clears throat> using summation of moment will give either a or b so taking moment at b we have got r a so solving the summation of forces acting vertically will give reaction rb which is ra plus rb minus 100 which will give rb is equal to 78.81 similarly solving for member b and c we will get reaction r b and rc member b and c has reaction r b and r c acting upward and we already found the moment at left and right side we have util of 50 kilo newton per meter so solving sigma m we will get r b as follows solving summation of f of y will give r c and we have to find the total support reaction so this is a shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a, for above problem and before we draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram we need to create the scale as i have created the horizontal scale as 1 cm is equal to 1 meter and <coughs> 1 cm is equal to 1 meter and for vertical I have taken the scale of 1 cm is equal to 50 kN in order to draw the surface diagram so in order to draw the surface diagram we need to consider all the reactionary forces so at point A the, at point A there is a reactionary force acting upon which is equal to 21.19 kN so as per the scale to represent the 21.19 kN we need to draw the line length of 0.4 cm above the datum or reference line so we need to draw the line length of 0.4 cm above the reference line this is a reference line and we need to draw the line above reference point then till this point there is no additional force over here so we need to draw the straight line till this point so after reaching here there is a one point load which is acting downward so <coughs> 21.19 kN should be subtracted by the uh, 100 kN because the force is acting downward so when we subtract 21.19 with 100 kN we will get negative uh, 78.81 kN so in order to represent this we need to draw the line length of 2.5 cm below the reference line then till point b till point b there is no force so we need to draw the straight line where there is no force we need to draw the straight line so after reaching at point b there is another reactionary force acting upward which is 
equal to which is equal to 255.23 kilonewton so this force is acting upward and this force should be subtracted from 70 this force the this fo sorry this force is acting upward we need to add this force with the negative 78.81 kilonewton so when we add this force with the 78.81 kilonewton we'll get 76 176.42 kilonewton so we need to represent the 176.42 kilonewton we need to draw the line length of 3.5 centimeter above the datum point b to c there is a udl load which is acting downward so first we need to convert the udl load into point load so in order to convert the udl load into point load we need to just multiply 50 with the length the force into length will convert the udl into load so when we convert this udl into load we will get uh, 300 kilonewton so when we so after converting the udl into point load we need to subtract the uh, 300 from 176.42 kilonewton as the udl is uh, acting downwards so we will subtract the 300 from 176.42 will get negative 123.58 so we will get 123.5 now we will connect this line till here again here at point c there is another reaction in force acting upward which is equal to 123.58 so when we add 123.58 with the negative 123.58 it comes zero so from here we will draw the line till here and finally we need to find the bending moment diagram so in order to find the bending moment diagram we need to consider the final moment which is obtained from moment distribution so first we need to draw the word horizontal line so this is a horizontal line which will act as a general reference so after that we will create another reference line to draw the bending moment diagram so in order to create the another reference line so this this line is the next reference line so in order to create this next reference line we need to consider the final moment so first at point a there is a final moment which is equal to 14.49 kilonewton meter so we need to plot this moment using the scale so to represent the 14.49 we need to make a line which is e equal to 0 0.3 centimeter next at b there is a final moment which is equal to 158.52 kilonewton meter so here to plot this to draw this line we will not consider any uh, sign whether it is negative or positive we will write the line we will draw the line above the general reference so this is general reference and we will draw the line above the general reference so at point c there is no final moment so it is equal to zero then we will connect this point and it act as a general it act as a reference to calculate or to draw the bending moment diagram after that we will calculate the maximum moment for individual load so uh, between point a and b there is a point load 
which is equal to 100 kN. So, so to calculate the moment, maximum moment, the formula is to calculate the moment W L divided by 4. W is load, which is equal to 100, and L is length, which is equal to 5 meter. Here, this, here is 5 meter divided by 4 which is equal to 125 kilonewton kilonewton meter so to represent the uh, 125 kilonewton per meter the maximum bending moment will the maximum moment for this point load will be at the, at the mid span so to represent this 125 kilonewton we need to draw the line the length of 2.5 centimeter the, after that we need to connect this point to here and this point after that we need to find the maximum moment at B point B to C point B to C B to C so there is a UDL load when there is UDL load the formula to calculate the maximum moment is WL square divided by 8 W is 50 times length is 6 kilo, 6 meter square divided by 8 which comes to 25 uh, member b to c consists of UDL load so to find the maximum moment the formula to calculate the maximum moment for the UDL is w l square divided by 8 so w is 50 kilonewton times length is 6 meter divided by 8 which gives 225 kilonewton meter so the maximum moment will be the, at the point where there is zero shear force so at this point there is zero shear force so maximum moment will be at this point then we'll connect this Two point with the parabol parabolic line. Now this is a bending moment diagram. The, the line which is marked by this pink color is uh, is considered as bending moment diagram. The the shaded portion above the reference line is considered as negative and the shaded portion which is below the reference line is considered as positive so after that if we stress stress this reference line and mirror it then we will get this uh, this diagram so it is also a bending moment diagram.